Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Dark Jack, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the best early round strategy that i found so far for the new Zombies map, Mob of the Dead. And the area that I'm in now is called the Cafeteria, and this is in the second area that you go to after the first area where you spawn in. So you want to open the door and go upstairs and then drop down. And then this area is right there next to where the MP5 is. And this is where the mystery box is. There's also a workbench here too, where you can assemble stuff. And there's only one way in and one way out of this area. And there's also a trap that you can use. This is called the acid trap. It costs $1,000 to use. So when you use this trap, it kills all the zombies that are coming through there. And so the only way zombies can get in are through the windows in this area. And so if you have two people watching the front and then two people watching the windows, you can stay here for a really long time and build up points. So I would recommend that when you, when you play this map, you hold out in here as long as possible. And in this room, you can also run trains as well. So you can run around in a, in a circle. And then once you've built up a bunch of zombies, you can then activate the trap and then kill them using that. So once you have enough points, then you can leave this area and then you can get Juggernaut. And I made a previous video where I showed you how to get the perk Juggernaut in Mob of the Dead. So now here I'm getting a better weapon. So after I've got my better weapon, I'm going to move to where the docks are. Now in the docks, what you can do is you can run a train of zombies pretty easily in this area. I didn't realize it at first when I was playing this, but... After watching the video back, I realized that there's a pretty easy way to run a circle in this area. And what you do is, when you see this strip of land right here, you want to go straight and then turn left and open this door. And once you open this door, this is going to take you to a power gener generator room. And then there's another door that you can open. And that's going to take you back to where the hallway is, where you went, went, went up the ramp to go get Juggernog. So after you open that door, then what you can do is you can run a circle by running up the ramp to where Juggernog is dropping down to where the docks are and then coming back into the door and then through here. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is the Warden of Mob of the Dead. And he first spawned in for me when I was at round 9. And it seems like he, he can spawn in at any time in the later rounds, in the middle of the round or at the beginning or the end. doesn't seem to matter. And I didn't know what to do at first, so he took me out pretty quickly. And so I've died and now, and now I'm in the afterlife. And so I zapped some zombies to get them away from me and then I revived myself. And I made a mistake here, I should have zapped more zombies, because when I respawned, I was surrounded by zombies. So what I should have done is zapped as many zombies as possible and then revive myself when the timer was getting low. So now that I know what to do, I'm going to zap all the zombies away from me first before I revive myself. You can see the timer at the bottom, and if that goes away before I, re I revive myself, then I'll die. So now I'm going to revive, revive myself, and I'm going to try to get away from here as fast as possible. And I thought that when I was downed, the key warden had disappeared and I wouldn't have to deal with him anymore. But in fact, the warden was still here. So I ran downstairs to where Juggernog is. I think that he's gone, but then I see him down here and the screen starts shaking. So I just start hip firing him. So now his helmet is gone, and when his helmet is gone, that means he's close to death. So when you see the warden, just keep shooting him in the head as much as possible, and then he dies and he gives you full ammo after you kill him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.